Mm. Can you explain Markovnikov's rule to me? I understand that it predicts where bonds form of electrophilic addition reactions, but I don't really understand how it works. Yeah, um, it has to do with regioselectivity. Take this equation, for example. You're going to bond this formula with HBr. Okay, and so when the product forms, you're going to have the H attached to this carbon and the Br on this one. And with regioselectivity, Markovnikov's rule basically predicts that the H is going to be added to the carbon with the most H's attached to it, which is this one. If you bond it to the C with the most H's, then why didn't you bond it to the CH3 instead? Because you have to make a bond on the C's within the triple bond. So it would have to be within that C. Uh, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Doesn't it feel weird without Marilyn here? Yeah, kind of. I mean, she's the one that wanted to study with B, so I guess good luck to both of them on this exam. I tell you, Jasmine, this stinks. Sorry. Not you. Damn! Him? Her? Alone? What's wrong with that? I can see what's happening. And they don't have a clue They'll fail this test and here's the bottom line The GPA falls down at two The test is swiftly coming There's panic everywhere And with all this hectic atmosphere Disaster's in the air Can you name our kinds tonight They all have triple bonds With one S bond and two pi bonds They make up living things The bond is on the parent chain Count out the carbons there Number the triple bond the lowest at the substituents. Our keys can change to our kinds via rumination. All you need is accessory of a mind to make the new compound. To kinds tonight they're the most reactive degree of unsaturation is key our kinds and kings and kings do you know our kinds tonight they can have cyclic shape be present in the ring to be stable and if we don't learn these tonight it can be assumed our 4.0s will become history in short, our greatest doom.